Good morning, everyone. I am on my way to Harley Davidson in Essex Junction, Vermont, Green Mountain Harley. I think they're the only Harley dealer actually in Vermont up here. Uh, super nice folks. Met them the other week. We did a little uh, talking about some videos and bounced some ideas around. So they're having me come down today to do a little video project for them, do a little promotion stuff. But that's where I'm headed today. This is my second ride of 2019. You can see there's still plenty of snow on the ground here. But it is about 45 degrees out here today. So it's warmed up enough that I'm willing to brave it. I've got some insulated pants on, my leather jacket, flannel shirt. I'm cold, <laughs> but I'm happy because I'm riding the bike. This is gonna be about a 45 minute ride down there, out of the mountains and down near Burlington. And I will show you guys what I can. Can't promise anything, but you will definitely see some cool stuff uh, from my work with them in some upcoming videos. And there's gonna be some cool shots. We're gonna do a little drone work. Uh, they're right near the Burlington Airport, so I had to go ahead and get clearance from air traffic control. But we've already got our permissions. They're gonna allow us to uh, fly our drone up to about 200 feet, which is more than we need. We're only gonna film within like 30, 40 feet of the ground at the most. But air traffic control was super nice to give us permission uh, to fly near that approach path to the Burlington Airport. If you guys fly a drone, always, always follow your local regulations. Air Traffic Control and the FAA, they're not as scary as everyone makes them out to be. They're nice people. They just want to keep you safe and the pilots in the air safe. Ooh, that is some bad bumps right there. Ooh, okay. Man, I'm glad I got that air suspension. Oh, big bump. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is a bad road. Not fun. But yeah, follow your local regulations, the FAA and the air traffic control, they're there to help. And I've never had a request denied as long as I tell them, hey, this is what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to keep it below a certain altitude. May I, may I have permission? And they've just always been super, super helpful and super nice. So always follow those regulations. Do what you got to do. Get that commercial drone license and uh, yeah, be legal and be safe about it. So that's my 60 second safety spiel there guys oh these vermont roads just suck this time of year just get the frost heave in the winter time so when everything freezes it buckles the road and it's not quite warm enough yet that everything has settled back down to be nice and level oh we pay so much in taxes up here you would think that they would do a decent job on these roads but they suck Thankfully, I've got that adjustable air suspension. I think I'm gonna adjust it to make it a little bit softer just to handle these roads better. Front fork is great. That absorbs the bumps, but the rear suspension is bouncing my butt all over the place. I may have that pumped a little bit too full, so I'm gonna let a little air out up here. I feel like I haven't been riding in forever. I haven't, let's see, I've got like 2,100 miles on this bike right now. 21, 22, yeah. And that was from last September through like last November, beginning of December when I was in Tennessee. And it was, you know, actually a normal human temperature. You could actually go outside of your house without freezing your nuts off and ride your bike. Since I've been in Vermont, this thing has sat in the garage since December through till yesterday or two days before. Basically all the way through March into the first week of April. So I feel like I haven't been riding it forever. It's almost like I gotta relearn the bike a little bit. Just kinda lose those riding skills over the winter time. They perish a little bit when you're sitting inside. So if you guys didn't see my video last Friday, be sure to go check it out. I'm doing a giveaway on a Viking Bags Sissy Bar bag and the link to enter that giveaway and all the info is in that video. So definitely go check that out if you are interested in winning a free sissy bar bag. I've actually got it on the back right now. You can just barely see it in my rearview mirrors. I've got it loaded up with some of my camera gear to take down there, testing it out. I could have put the camera gear in my saddlebags, but I really want to test this bag out for like endurance and long trips and stuff like that. So definitely go check that video out if you guys are interested in winning that bag. There's only a few days left on it. I think there's like uh there should be something like four or five days left to enter that giveaway. So definitely go check that out real fast uh, if you guys want to win that bag. 
it's like a 50 60 dollar bag it's not insanely expensive but it is nice it feels so stinking weird to be riding up here and there's snow and snow walls like that built along the side of the road and just a couple weeks ago those snow walls were like 10 feet tall I mean just massive we had a fantastic winter here for snow and we were expecting to really keep the snow through April and we're still skiing up at Jay Peak near where I live and the conditions have been great oh another bump oh man these roads suck <laughs> but we uh, we're still skiing up at Jay Peak we got like an inch or two actually uh, let's see beginning of this week like three or four days ago up at Jay down in the valley where I live nothing but up at Jay more snow and it's kept it nice and cold and fresh and uh, yeah we're probably gonna be skiing into May up here honestly the conditions are fantastic oh that's a great sign bump yeah we're like oh yeah that that was a big bump oh, okay that hurt the butt I should have that sign like every 10 feet on this road son of a bitch it's definitely going to take some getting used to because when I was down Tennessee last year I would ride up to the mountains just to uh, get away from the heat you could ride up on like the Cherahala Skyway or Tail of the Dragon somewhere up in there and your temperature lapse rate would uh, drop the temperature down by like 10 to 15 degrees and it was super nice it was like riding into air conditioning up here it's still too cold to ride anywhere up into the mountains you want to stay down in the valley so you don't freeze your nuts off while you ride something I've noticed also is my helmet if you guys haven't seen my review of this new helmet go check that out too I did this uh, a couple weeks ago I upgraded finally to a really safe helmet I got an HJC FG 17 helmet and uh, it's got a Snell approval rating and it's super comfy, super nice. Go check out the video on my channel on that. I'll throw a link to it on the screen and down in the description. But I've noticed that even without the pin lock visor in here, I'm not fogging at all. The shield itself is doing a fantastic job. Granted, it's not super cold. It's 48 degrees. It was about 43, I think, when I left my house. And if I do stop, it will fog up a little bit around the bottom but overall without that pin lock visor i'm doing great i've got perfectly clear vision and uh it's really nice i don't even have a whole lot of airflow going up into the helmet to keep that clear because i've got the big touring windshield out in front of me here so the helmet itself is just doing great i'm very impressed i'm really happy with this investment now i did have to remove the uh, padding that came in the helmet because i've got a fat head and I had to get the uh, thinner cheek padding. I think that took off like 10 millimeters on each side. It's not a whole lot, but I could definitely tell the difference. I was able to actually get like my microphones in here for my Cena headset and for the GoPro. The moose are just freaking everywhere up here. It's kind of cool, but I haven't seen any uh, through the winter time. So now that spring is coming, uh, there's some swampy areas around. I'm going to go ride through there. There's some nice pretty roads. And hopefully you guys will get to see a moose or two in my videos. And hopefully they don't come after me or step out in front of me. Because a moose in front of a motorcycle, that, that's just an ungood day. That is a very ungood day waiting to happen right there. I actually don't mind riding behind this dude right now in the pickup because he's blocking a lot of wind that was hitting me in the legs. I can't feel my legs anymore. They're just they're just frozen and numb at this point. But the uh, truck is blocking a lot of wind and so I've got my legs tucked right up against the engine trying to keep them warm right now. No, don't leave. You were my protection. You were keeping my legs warm. Ah, oh, dang it. This freaking oil-cooled engine, man. It was great in Tennessee, and it's great for making the engine run really nice and cool. But man, it cuts the heat. <laughs> I need some leg warmers right now. I need that exhaust breathing on my legs. I need the heat radiating off of that engine. Actually, I need some front leg fairings, honestly. I can probably put some Indian Roadmaster fairings on this thing. I've seen them. I can get them painted in the uh, Thunder Smoke to match my bike put them on here and that would be great welcome to Cambridge Cambridge is a nice little town up here very pretty not 
so much right now maybe, but in the summertime definitely. And in the winter when there's still snow around to actually look at. Right now, this is just kind of blah. In Vermont, you've got, uh, well, let's see. Your seasons in Vermont are a little different. You have winter, which goes from like October to April. So about seven months out of the year, you've got winter. And then you have mud season which would be spring in other places but here it's just it's just mud everywhere and then you have summer which is like three or four weeks maybe if you're lucky then you have fall and fall up here is gorgeous I mean the mountains are just fire colored gold and yellow and red and orange it's, it's fantastic it really looks beautiful and then you have fall for not long enough it's like again two or three weeks and then you've got stick season which is like all the wind comes in and it's just like bitch winter's coming blows all the leaves off the trees and you've got nothing then until a few weeks later and then bam hit by snow and then you're skiing for the next you know six seven months which is great i love skiing and that's partly why we moved up here we love the snow but I am so not enjoying the fact that I've got to keep the bike in the garage a lot of the year. If you guys look up over there where I'm pointing, there's uh, that mountain. That's Mount Mansfield. That is your tallest peak in Vermont. It's kind of shrouded in the cloud right now over there. That sits uh, at the top of Stowe Ski Resort. And there's a really nice road up through there. You have to go through the notch near Smuggler's Notch Resort. And uh, it's shut down in the wintertime, but in the summer we're definitely going to go over there and do a nice ride through there and show you guys that. Mount Mansfield's cool. You can't ski from the top unless you hike up. The lift doesn't go all the way up. So you got to hike up to that last bit if you want to go up there. Okay, we're going to pass this Prius. I ain't going to sit behind no stinking Prius. All the way to Essex, not happening. Ooh, can we go across the, oh no we can't, bridge closed, dang it. There's a nice little covered bridge over there, I could have gone that way and gone through the bridge. It's alright, I got all kinds of covered bridges around where I live, so uh, I'll ride through them. It's fun to rev bomb inside of a covered bridge. The acoustics are great, bouncing off of the wood. It, it's actually even more fun I think than like a tunnel or a concrete bridge. It sounds so cool. Anyway, I think you guys have heard me ramble on enough and talk about what's going on, what I'm doing. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. So if you guys enjoyed these musings on my way to Harley, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. It's a big red button down there. You can't miss it. Click the bell icon next to it. That'll give you guys notifications when there's new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. I'm going to stop in here and get some gas and sign off. So until next time, y'all know what to do. Be careful out there. Ride safe, ride on. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.